Naomi, Peter, Intermediate, Lindy Hall. We've been working a lot on kind of musicality themes. You guys did great tonight. We did a couple different exercises. We started with our jazz warm up, which everyone's getting better at. Uh, then we went into the followers counting the moves um, and the leaders leading a combination of eight and six. So I never thought I'd make people count so much in a class, but it was good practice. So we have to do two eights, two sixes, and then this little four count from a rock step, a rock step. We did that with an AABA song, and then we moved that into a blues structure song. So they had to do four eights, two sixes, and the rock step, rock step. Followers' big challenge was kind of feeling when things were wrapping up, when the leads started mixing it together. Leaders' real challenge was fighting for putting sure people in that structure. Sure. So just watch that last triple step. That's what you're talking about. Triple step. Triple step. Boom. They count. Boom, boom, triple step. So much of the time it's going to be that last triple step of hers, that wrap up. That's how she can kind of have some sense of counting a six or an eight without knowing exactly what move is coming in advance. I think they only could have that pretty clearly if the leader's being clear. She could get it. She could count six or eight pretty easily. Um, leaders, your job, you've got to keep things going. So I've said before to have a plan, and I think there's maybe a bad way to say it. It's not to have a plan, it's to uh, follow through whatever you're doing. So if you're doing some six count thing, make it feel smooth and consistent. Same thing with eight count. Like, Follow it all the way through. If you stop and start along the way, this job is very hard for the followers. After that, we work with breaks in blue structure, which usually come at the top of the structure. We don't really need to know that, but once we hear it, we need to feel like we one, can, don't panic. Don't panic. That you can still hit it, and that we can hit it rhythmically. And followers, we are just as responsible as leaders for keeping that rhythm going, even while the break is happening. Yes, and let's remember what a low break we got followers initially when we first tried that. Making sure you got back on a five, five six, six, a five, six, six seven, seven eight, 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 one. really fuzzy over there. If I have to lead you to step on one and you can't do it, we got a problem, right? So you step on one because it's one. It's the time that you start. It's kind of the right time to start. Eight, not a good time to start. One, good. Two, not as good. <laughs> so right in the middle there. And followers, when you work on that part, you'll find the following becomes better kind of overall. We'll really put music into your dancing a little bit. Uh, I think for the leaders, for the leaders, it's to think, become less of a planner, less of a counter, and be a little bit more instinctual. So you're going to the follower side of thinking, be a little more instinctual and be able to respond in the moment. Followers, maybe be a little bit more aware of what's going on at the time, so you self-determine a little bit. You have a little bit more uh, ability to put your own ideas out there without breaking the partnership. Yeah. So we're trying to think, leaders, think a little more like followers, think a little more like leaders without totally crossing over and swimming all up. Take two. 